this site can't be reached this website took too long to respond checking the connection okay so if you're getting this particular error on Google Chrome or any browser for that matter I'm going to help you fix the issue so first thing I want you to do is check your router wherever you get internet connection connection to if you can get the device or the laptop closer to the router do that and see if you can get connected and then what I want you to do is check other devices on your router or on that internet connection if other devices like a laptop or a computer is not working then you know that it's not it has nothing to do with your browser or your computer it just has to do with the router so one thing you could do is reset the router is just unplug it from, from the wall for about five minutes plug it back in and then see if that will fix your issue if not maybe ask people around the home if you're if they're also getting not getting connection if they are getting a connection then it may be that the network is just overwhelmed by too much broadband coming in and then you might want to temp temporarily tell them to pause and see if you're able to get connected now one of the most common issues with this problem is that the time zone the time and the date is incorrect and so a lot of times with laptops the CMOS battery will go bad which is the little watch battery that's inside of a laptop so what I want you to do is go down to the time click on it and make sure the time zone the time and the date is all correct if not when you get everything when you click on and make sure it's the right time zone and everything I guarantee you that you'll be able to get connected okay next after you've tried that what I want you to do is restart the DNS client. So basically what that is on a computer, it's like the short-term memory, the files. It's what we're going to do is clear it out because that, that might be distracting your browser. And in order to do that, you're going to do a simple run command. To do a simple run command, only thing you have to do is hold down the Microsoft key, the Microsoft logo, the Windows logo on the very bottom left. It's usually to the left of the Alt key. While you're holding that down, you're going to hit the R. R's and Ralph and that's going to bring up this screen the run screen you're going to type the following thing s-e-r-v-i-c-e-s dot m-s-c services dot m-s-c you will click OK and then after that it's going to bring you this whole row of list I want you to look for DNS client okay I want you to right click it so you on your mouse you're going to right click it's going to bring this menu down and then I want you to left click restart if it's an option if it's not an option, go ahead and left click refresh and then close down close down your browser and then see if you're able to get connected. Okay, next after we did that, we're going to clear the cache on your browser, regardless if you have Firefox or Opera or whatever you have. I'm going to do this specifically for Chrome, but if you don't know how to do it on your browser, just look it up. So, on Chrome, the only thing you do to clear the browser cache what you're going to do is click on these three little dots on the very upper right of your screen. You're going to click on that. And then on the very far left near settings, you're going to click on privacy and security. And then you're going to click on clear browsing history. And then you're going to select all of these. And then after you select all of them, you're going to clear data. That could take a few minutes. And then shut down everything and then see if you're able to get it to work. Now, next thing what I want you to do is we're going to do a reset and clean up on your browser so for example on Google Chrome we're going to click these three dots up here that's the menu button on the on the top very top right click on settings go all the way to the left and click on reset and clean up it's going to be on the very bottom left of your screen and that should take a few minutes and then under settings here it's going to give it an option to restore settings to the original defaults that's what you want to want to do after you clean up the computer down here okay now after you've done all that what I want you to do is try a different browser so if you have Firefox or Opera try to use a different browser you should have at least uh, Microsoft Edge that comes with Windows computers especially if it's a newer computer try Microsoft Edge just type that in the search and see if another browser is working okay so most likely that would solve your problem there's an issue with Chrome you might need to uninstall it and reinstall Chrome and of course you could do that through your Microsoft Edge or your Firefox okay next thing what we're going to do is we're going to disable all extensions it's those little toolbars on the very upper right sometimes you might have adblock or all those so to go there for Chrome what we're going to do is go on the very top right with the three little dots go to more tools go to extensions and then all these extensions you want to make sure that they're all gray and not blue so make sure these are all gray 
and then save and then X out of your browser then see if you're able to get connected next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a system update hopefully we're able to get connected to the internet and do a system update on Google Chrome so what you want to do is go back to the three little dots go all the way down to help and then click on about Google Chrome and when you do that that's going to automatically start doing a an update and you'll see it very right in the center of the screen will have an update with percentage and then after it does to 100% shut it down and then see if you're able to get connected.